everyone. Welcome to my very first video of The Girl Climber, where today I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself and what this channel is about. So first of all, my name is Camila and I am a college student living in California. I was born and raised in Ecuador, but I have been living in the U.S. since 2001 and I am the youngest of four. I have a dog named Dak who is almost two and eventually he will be a van dog as one of my life goals is to travel the world and experience life in a van. I have a love for traveling as you can see, but also for learning and experiencing new things which is what got me into rock climbing. Backtracking a bit, sports have been a part of my life since I first learned to swim when I was three years old. Throughout my childhood and up to high school, I was part of volleyball, swimming, basketball, and track teams. I've always been very competitive, but mostly with myself. Once I got to college, I got really into bodybuilding, and I mean, it was part of my life five to six days per week, consistently. The first two years were a constant struggle to be consistent with going to the gym or doing some form of fitness like I was used to. This was partly due to having to balance the life of a 21-year-old, going to school and working full-time to support myself, trying to have somewhat of a social life, and trying to establish the life that I was after. In the process of all this, I lost my passion for bodybuilding and I just got bored of going to commercial gyms and that whole lifestyle. One of my roommates at the time was really into rock climbing, and I remember being super fascinated, but also super confused when he'd tell me about his weekend trips outdoors, because I just couldn't understand how it worked. And words like pitches, belay, cams, along with all the different types of climbing, just didn't make any sense to me. It was so unfamiliar. But hearing about the climbs, the experiences, and how he'd climb up rocks hundreds of feet was so cool and admirable to me, although I didn't understand the mechanics of it whatsoever. I used to always drive by the local climbing gym on my way to work, and I'd keep telling myself I'd go and try it for the longest time. But at the time, it was honestly intimidating, which although natural for most things new, it seemed even more scary simply because of what climbing itself entails. In November of 2017, I finally took up his offer and tried out both bouldering and top roping on my very first day. And well, I fell in love. I think I got my membership, bought my harness, chalk, and shoes the very next day. I remember that very first day so vividly. Top roping was hard, but doable with the beginner stuff considering you are tied to a rope and can rest as much as you need. Bouldering, on the other hand, was constantly knocking me down, physically and mentally. But that's why I loved it. I remember sitting down to take a break from feeling so defeated. The gym was packed that night, so it was loud and there was people everywhere. There was a moment though, where basically everything and everyone became muted to me. I was alone with my thoughts as I tried to analyze this new sport. I had tunnel vision for the routes on the wall, which from afar looked like an art mural. It was a masterpiece in my eyes. In that instant, I realized how different this sport was, being not only a physical, but intense mental challenge. Right then and there, I was hooked. Bodybuilding, like most sports, has a range of difficulty where you can always progress. And yes, bodybuilding has a mental component as well. But for me, it's not like climbing. The mental aspect of climbing is something much more intrinsic and applicable to overall growth and life. Not only would I be training my body physically, but my mind would also be trained. And that is why I climb. Although I've only been climbing for a little over a year, it has grown to become a part of my daily life and I have found a deep appreciation for the sport as you can see. It is my outlet. So why am I making this channel? Well, you see, I was doing the go to school and typical job for the past five years. For me, that was being a pharmacy tech, 
and although it was only temporary while I'm in school and I did like it at the beginning, it was no longer fulfilling for me for the last couple of years. So I quit my job at the end of last year. I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. And here I am doing something that is a bit scary, but something that I am truly passionate about and will contribute to my happiness and growth. And that is helping and educating others, meanwhile learning and growing myself. I have a long way to go in the world of climbing. I consider myself a beginner still. I am an average girl in the sport. I am a girl climber. So I thought, what better way to help others than to document my journey as I grow and learn? And this is where YouTube comes into play. With this channel, I will be doing videos about fitness and wellness related to climbing, as well as exploring the abstract but fascinating angles of climbing that bring about the intrinsic values and lessons applicable to anyone's journey in life. I want to show you guys the things I wish I had known when I first started climbing. I want to show you guys that anyone can climb and hopefully inspire people all over the world to at least try the sport once. I guarantee you though, you'll want to come back for more. I want to give people like myself the confidence to try rock climbing and see what it can do for them. That it is a safe, fun, and welcoming sport. All at the same time, it will be an entertaining journey as I show my successes and failures in a sport unlike so many others, but most importantly, a sport with so much intrinsic value. This channel, The Girl Climber, is to educate, empower, inspire, and give purpose to those that are starting rock climbing. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe and stay tuned for what's to come, and join me on this exciting journey of growth, patience, and self-actualization.